Hey guys, this is your biker doc here, and welcome to today's vlog. So today I'm with my new bike. As you can see, she's waiting for all of you right behind my back. So meet my new bike, the BMW S1000 RR. Actually, this is the 2014 model. To be honest, I'm huge fan of its uneven headlights, sharp looks, and its beautiful shark fairings. I want to apologize to all of you as I could not make this video earlier because the weather was so bad. And today, just look at this view, guys. This is the perfect day to test my beast. Let me give you some details of the aftermarket parts which are installed on this bike. Starting from the front, it has radiator guards which protects the radiator from the stones that hit the radiator directly. Then after that it has this shark stickers on both sides and just down to this it has aftermarket LED indicators which look so bright at night. To protect this bike in case of any fall, it has these huge sliders and this engine guard on both the sides. If you will see closely, you can see this beautiful full system Acropovic exhaust which costs almost $1500. And let me go to the left side so I can show you its beautiful instrument cluster. Let's fire it up. Guys, if you like the sound of this exhaust, please comment down below. And you can also follow me on my Instagram account, the Biker Dog. If we talk about the specs of S1000 RR, this bike is a true super bike with a racy DNA. This bike has triple nine cc engine, which produces 193 horsepower, and with this Acropovic exhaust almost 200 horsepower which i think which we cannot use in streets or track in any way but it's a very 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 fast machine with just one aim to put every another bike in dust if we compare yamaha r1 cbr 1000 rr gsxr 1000 or kawasaki zx 10 r no bike can match this bike in terms of power, electronics and even looks. Honestly, this bike looks so futuristic even in 2020. The electronics on this bike is extraordinary which make this bike very unique to handle. So you can dance if you want while riding and leave everything on electronics. Well, it's time to test the bike in the Biker Dog's way. So there are 4 riding modes, Rain, Sports, Race and Slick. In Rain mode, power is cut to 150bhp, reduced torque and the throttle response is more gentle. Second is sports mode, full power 193 at the crank with a fast but smooth throttle response. Wheelie protection is on and in this mode the system detects if the rear wheel is lifting. Third is race mode, full power but instant throttle response. No rear wheel lift detection. Fourth one and the most interesting one is the slick mode, full power with an aggressive and instant throttle response. There is no wheelie control, no stoppy control. That's why people use this mode for stunting, like some doing some wheelies, some stoppies and everything. So guys, there's one reason why I sold my Jixxer and bought this BMW S1000 RR. And to show that reason, I'm taking this bike to highway so I can show you that reason. 
The first reason I bought this bike is the looks. It looks so 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 good. Second is it feels so modern as it has every electronics which I need in my bike. And the third you will see now. Guys, I was talking about this reason. This bike is extremely fast and I can't tell you how that power feels. It's like you are on the fastest thing in the city. Now I will stop the bike here and let's hear the sound of this beast. There is one more reason why I bought this bike and that is from all other 1000cc bikes I feel this bike more classy, reliable, the build quality is totally amazing and it is more powerful than any other 1000cc bikes. Now I am going back to Tbilisi and I will do some speed runs. Let's see what will be the top speed on my speedometer today. It's too windy to do this but still I will try. It. 